Hello, we are in the deep dive of the STOP team, talking about what makes or breaks a project, an organization, or a family. Now we are talking about knowing yourself. Why is knowing yourself key? Well, if you don't know yourself, it's very hard to communicate about what it is you want to others. Clear, right? We have to know ourselves and our wishes, know our skills, know what we can do well to be able to communicate that to others, to find a way to work together where everybody plays to his or her own strength. Now, there is a really important technique that I would like you to, uh, to know and to be aware of in everything you do. It's called the Yohari window. It's a technique to understand the relationship with yourself and others. And here it is. What you're finding out with this, this methodology or this concept is your blind spots. What are blind spots? Well, if you look at this here, it comes together um, in what's not known to yourself and it is known to others, right? So that's the, the dangerous part here. When it's about knowing yourself, but there are things that are not known to ourselves, but others can see that. Well, that's our, that's our risky or danger zone here, right? We need to ask others to get that input. That's the blind spot. The others, the arena is, an easier one. It's known to yourself, but it's also known to others. The arena is everything that is transparent and visible to everyone. Then we have a part, of course, that's known to ourselves, but not known to others. That's fully okay, right? That's the private stuff. That's things we know about ourselves and others will never know. Um, and then there's also the unknown, which is not known to ourselves, and also not to others. So these two on the bottom here is actually, um, let's say the not, not really risky uh, parts here when it's about communicating in your team. But the blind spot, yeah? It's known to others, it's not known to ourselves. What could that be? Well, it's about you presenting, maybe you're doing something, you are, behaving in a certain way, you're communicating in a certain way, and, and you don't really know how others perceive that, how it comes across. That's where we need that feedback, that peer uh, review. We need to reflect with the help of others about who it is we really are. Does that make sense? Really look into this and try to understand um, yeah, the context of how this can help you in future situations. Knowing ourselves, um, there is also these parts about, you know, which uh, is not known to ourselves, but others also don't know it. Let's dive into that part as well. And um, I would like to recommend you to, um, yeah, look into these assessments, evaluations, and tests that are out there, but from a different viewpoint and with a different motivation. I mean, those of you that have worked in companies or have, you know, applied for companies and may have had to do some aptitude tests and all kinds of other tests maybe uh, to be able to, to get a job, um, it always has kind of like this, this negative annotation that... Um, I'm not good enough, right? I mean, if there's a test and I don't have enough points and but some of these things don't make any sense and then they say, well, I'm this way or that way. So now coming to this motivation, um, take a big step back and don't take any of these tests personally, really. Um, you know, take it with a grain of salt with some fun into it and try to um, see it only as one way 
to try to find out more about yourselves. Maybe it's completely nonsense and maybe it's not. So um, yeah, see it as a tool. Don't see it as the end of the world and don't see it as something that never changes. Um, none of these tests have the ability to actually detect who you are and kind of find out what's wrong with you, but because there's nothing wrong with you. Uh, there's nothing wrong with any of us. We all have a very unique set of abilities and traits and, and a mindset, and it all has its reason and it all is needed and desired um, for creating that impact in the world that we want to create. So focusing on what we do best every day is helping us. So for that, we need to uh, basically uh, use those tests to find out what it is we do best. What it is we do best is another you know, topic to ask others. If you are doing some stuff in, within a team, ask others, hey, how do you think did I do that? Was that, did you experience this as something useful? Uh, let's get that feedback from others to understand what we are doing best every day because it's not always visible to us so much. There may be some people who have a very clear view on that uh, because they have a very strong talent or skill for something, but not everyone is like that. I, for example, have lots of different talents and things that I enjoy. And it's a really hard question for me to answer. Do what you do best every day. I would not have a clue what it is I should do. But our strengths are the combination, this unique combination of our talents, the knowledge, the experience and the skills, the abilities that we build up. So it's also not something that is written in stone it is changing with every day it is changing and it's um yeah it's it's growing and the results of a test that you do can be different uh, the next day if you do that again so i also actually didn't know uh, i've done some of these tests that i'm just gonna you know be about you to uh to recommend you uh, to do them. It's uh, amazing what tests can bring to life and uh, how it changes how we, you know, see uh, ourselves. Just to give you a number again, um, why you should do that. Uh, don't be afraid of what you find. You find good stuff, definitely. Um, Important is that we are six times um, as likely to be engaged in our jobs, which means, of course, that we are also happier. Um, we are three times as likely to say that we have an excellent quality of life. And um, that should be our motivation to, uh, to drive us to get to know each other and to get to know ourselves more and more every day. I hope I've given you enough motivation that it's worth looking into it. So how do you find out about yourself? Within our framework, we have uh, you know, several um, proposals for you to check out um, what role fits you best and what kind of a type you are in terms of driving growth and maybe about uh, personalities. Um, all of those tests are for free. Um, I know there's like a huge um, ocean of tests out there in the world. And some of them are very, very expensive. Companies pay a huge amount of money for uh, tests. And um, I find that quite strange because it's just a way of, you know, trying to capture something. Um, like an alibi, because in the end, it's not anything touchable. It's not anything that really um, describes who you are. I think it's more a limiting factor that creates fear in people. And um, nevertheless, it's a huge uh, market that people are trying to harvest. And um, 
we have uh, focusing on the ones that are out there um, for free and try to learn from them, take them as a starting point to just start the conversation within your team uh, to have fun with it also. So don't forget that if there is something that you don't like uh, in the result. So thank you very much for listening. Questions that are in your mind now, please write them down right now. Take them into the discussions with your team and um, take them to reflect upon them for yourself. <laughs>